This is a simple vector problem, just to show you how to split vectors up and use them for something. I've got an airplane flying this way at 30 degrees at 140 kilometers per hour. As the airplane flies like this, it's moving forward and it's moving up. The vector this way, the resultant vector, what the plane is actually doing is 140. As it's going 140 this way, it's moving forward at a certain rate and up at a certain rate that we can figure out by breaking it into components. So we're going to break this into components. The question is, how high does it go in three minutes and how far forward does it go in three minutes? Um, I'm already noticing I've got kilometers per hour here and minutes there. So with our formula, since it's uniform motion, it's staying at constant speed, it doesn't say anything about accelerating. Uh, then we have to realize we should be using meters, seconds, and meters per second, or for that simple V equals D over T formula, the uniform motion formula, we can use kilometers per hour and get an answer in kilometers, but this has got to be in hours. So how do you turn minutes into hours? You divide by 60. So I'm going to use kilometers per hour and turn this into hours when I get to that point. Okay, so what I'm going to do is find out what the plane's doing in the horizontal and vertical direction. So I, there's my vector, 140 kilometers per hour. And I'm breaking it into components, showing how fast it's moving forward and how fast it's moving up. 140, this is 30 degrees. So this is 140 sine 30, which is 70 kilometers per hour. So it's moving upwards at 70 kilometers per hour. This side is 140 cosine 30. Because as you've learned in the vector videos, when you have a vector and an angle, the opposite side is the sine side, the adjacent side is the cosine. 140 cos 30 is 121. So while this plane is moving, it's moving forward at 121 km per hour and up at 70. I know it's doing both of those at the same time, and the result is it's actually moving that way. So, how far does it go, how high does it go in three minutes? Uh, high is up, so what we have to do is say, well, if our displacement is up, then the velocity that goes with it, the one that matches with it, is this one. This is how fast it's moving up, and that's what I'm asking, how high up. So for A, D equals V times T. From V equals D over T, I rearranged it. Okay, so the distance it moved up is the velocity it was moving up times the time. Now remember I said we're going to have to turn that into hours, so it's 3 divided by 60. So the displacement up is um, 3.5 kilometers. And I'm going to say up. How far forward did it move? Well, same sort of logic. How far forward is this way? That matches with this component here. So I'm going to say the displacement, I should have probably done this, sorry, because that's what displacement should be written as. Sorry about that. It is the velocity times time. So what velocity? The 121. 121 times the time, which is the same three minutes, turned into hours. So the displacement forward is six kilometers. And I put forward there. Okay? So this object is moved 3.5 kilometers up, six kilometers forward.